Hey, how you doing? This is Peter at the McKernan Group. So I want to go over, we're in 2021, and uh, we've gone, you know, from having the moratorium and also the forbearance um, being changed some dates, and that was the tail end of 2020. So now um, eviction moratorium is pushed all the way till the end of 2021, which is crazy. Um, so basically those people that are saying that, I mean, unfortunately, if COVID has knocked them out of the workforce, that's, that's huge. Um, you know, we obviously feel for those uh, individuals. However, it, it is tough for landlords too. And it's something to, you know, keep an eye on going into 2022, but that puts us all the way at the end of 2021. So the beginning of 2022, um, those evictions can actually come to fruition. And this is really just anybody that has stated a claim and stopped paying rent right when the pandemic started so around like march of february or march um april last year so those are things you know as a real estate agent if you have uh some clients that are going to list and they have someone that's in their house and they're having some issues or something like that trying to get them out because they haven't been paying rent go through the check boxes is hey did uh what happened when did they stop paying rent was that rent stopped you know right around the pandemic are they claiming is it because covid um at that point you know we have to wait till the end of this year to start that foreclosure process on them but if they've been in there since 2019 they haven't been paying well at that point then you can have that conversation with that you know individual and that seller and then also the person in there is hey let's start the eviction today and let's not waste time uh so going to the moratorium really you know you just want to make sure that you're informing your clients or you know being informed as a buyer and a seller of what that means if you're going to buy a property with a tenant in place do all the due diligence up front prior to getting an escrow and then once you're in escrow to make sure that those those tidbits are to you and like to you and you can actually make an educated decision on that property because if if you're not able to do that, then you're ultimately going to buy a property and be stuck with those tenants, and, and that's that's not good for you. Um, and then forbearance, forbearance, same same thing, lasts all the way till the end of the year. And um, I, do we see a huge big um, wave of foreclosures? No, I don't see it. Uh, we've we've done a, you know we've worked with a lot of economists and stuff like that to see if you know that's something that's going to be you know a big. Um, wave where it's going to affect the market and you know if it happened right now or if it happened then it's really not going to affect the market and there's not as many people as you would think that actually has forbearances it's gone down uh since initially it, it took place back uh march you know april last year so a lot of people have said hey i need it and then now they backed up and said no i actually don't need it so things to think about um especially you know going into the real estate market and and also you know as an agent too just for agent uh information make sure you're watching uh what's going on uh with the market and then also you know when you sit down with a client um one thing one thing to think about as a listing agent is someone in forbearance because then you have to add that to whatever they owe on the property so is that property going to be a short sale at that point or is it going to be you know another challenge of selling it at what the price is what your commissions are also what the other fees are going into closing escrow and and what they owe on it so you got to put those variables into place and have that conversation too at the listing table prior to thanks for watching if you guys have any questions, leave them below and then also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.